We would like to welcome everyone again to our prayer time at the U.S. 19 Church of Christ, where we petition God for the physical and especially the spiritual well-being of our city, our country, and our world. We come together three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, at 1215, to pray for God to help us through these physical and emotional challenges of our world, especially as we deal with the coronavirus pandemic. We first want to read a passage of scripture, and then I want to lead us all in a word of prayer. Our scripture for today is found in Psalms 46, verses 1 through verse 11. That's Psalms 46, verses 1 through verse number 11. And it says this, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, will not we fear, though the earth be removed, and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, though the waters thereof roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof. There is a river, the streams that whereof shall make glad the city of God, the holy place of the tabernacles of the Most High. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God shall not help her, and that right early. The heathen raged, the kingdoms were removed. He uttered his voice, the earth melted. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Come behold the works of the Lord, what desolations he hath made in the earth. He maketh wars to cease unto the end of the earth. He breaketh the bow and cutteth the spear in sunder. He burneth the chariots in the fire. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted above the heathen. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Now at this time we're asking everyone to bow as I lead us in a word of prayer. Father, thou who designed and created the universe, thou who art omnipotent, omnipresent, and omniscient, we humbly bow before your presence in humble submission. First of all, we, we do recognize that no matter what happens on earth, we understand that you are still in control. We pray, Father, for life, health, and strength. We pray for those who have lost their jobs. We pray for those who can't pay their bills. We pray for those who are running low on groceries, those who can't get their medicine, those who are sick, and those who are in intensive care. We pray for those who have lost loved ones, those who have division in their homes. We pray for those leaders who have to make hard decisions about this virus, and the economy. Father, we also pray for our physical and spiritual leaders that they would not allow themselves to get caught up in worry, in fear, in discouragement, and in doubt. We pray that people all over the world would realize that we cannot make it through this pandemic without you, God. And we pray that a total wave of revival will sweep this entire world and our nation and that people would finally see that God is truly in charge. And then finally we pray that a cure will be found and given to all who need it. And we also pray that after all of this is over, that we will all realize and have a renewed spirit to do God's will. For we ask this through our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Let us all say amen. Now as we conclude for today, don't forget that we meet and have these prayer meetings every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 1215. Also, if there are those in our listening audience who would like to obey the gospel, a person can come to God by hearing the gospel, believing it, repenting of their sin, confessing Christ, and then being baptized for the washing away of their sins. 
And if you want to make that a reality right now, we encourage you to call us. That is my cell number at area code 229-894-7094. Again, that's area code 229-894-7094. Also, if there are members of the Lord's Church who would like someone to talk with them about a certain problem, or you need specific counseling. We encourage you to call the church at area code 229-436-9667. Again, that's 229-436-9667. Tuesday through Friday from 9 o'clock to 3 o'clock. You can also reach us on our email address at us19cocsouth at gmail.com. Again, that's us 19 C-O-C South at gmail.com. And now until next week, may God bless you in a very, very special way. And don't forget to be safe.